Hello, everybody. So I actually got a great question on um, the Trello community, which, by the way, if you've never been to Atlassian's community section, definitely head over there. Lots of great content with people like me who are sharing things we're doing on Trello or just people asking questions and getting answers pretty quickly. So a um, friend of mine, Andy, actually asked this question about trying to keep a card set to the top of the list. And um, basically when he was adding different cards in, it was, you know, moving the order and he wanted to have a card uh, set to to the top um, with a cover card. And so I was like, there's definitely got to be a way to do this. So I walked through it in this post, but I'm going to actually show you here. So first of all, there's a couple things to note. So if you're having problems with uh, new cards coming in and pushing others down check your automation because you might have some rules enabled on your board click enable to see what's on this board you might have ones that are automatically moving cards to the top of the list when they come in and um you know different sort of actions with that you may have something on um, due date or check in your calendar like for instance every day i have a new card i'm um, set to the top of a list um so that's always going to push through that but if you're ever like you know, I really want, let's say this card right here, I want my cover card to always be at the top. What you can do is you can actually create a label called keep me top or whatever you want to call it. And if you're enabling a cover, if you just do this one where it just shows the bar line right here, it will still show the label. But um, if you do cover like this, it won't show the label at all. And if you really don't want to see the label, but you're not using a cover, you could just make the label um, Go to labels, create new label, click this color. It won't show up on the front of the card and you could just say pinned or something like that. So save that right there. And so notice, um, even if you don't have a cover on it, you will not see that pinned label unless you go inside the card. So if you wanna do that, that's a great way to do that. Um, I'm gonna go back to using, uh, let's see, I'm gonna actually set this rule up with you. So I'll take off the keep me up top. So next, what you wanna do you want to go to automation and then rules and you want to create a rule that says anytime a new card is added into that list resort the list by labels so your trigger is going to be when a card is added to the list so whatever list that is say to do um you're going to want to go to this sort option and you're going to want to sort the list by label you can pick whichever one you want scroll down here we're looking for pinned and just leave it as that which says hey start with that one so we're going to save that add action when a card is added to the list sort list by label pinned and then hit save and i'm going to go ahead and disable my other one i had on here um basically notice i had the same rule i just used a different label but um, i'm going to remove that just so we don't have two rules working at the same time. So this is the rule we're working with. All right, so notice now I've got this guy, he's pinned at the top. We don't know that from the outside, we just see that there. So let's now try adding a new card and we're gonna move it to the top of the list. So I'm just gonna drag it over there, put it up top there. New card's been added to the list. Notice I didn't click anything at all, it just reshuffled it to right below um, the pinned card there. So that's exactly how that works. Um, add a new card. And once again, no matter how you drag that in, so let's say I am using my keyboard shortcut and using shift and the left carrot to move it to the top. Once again, notice the automation that just did that. It just automatically switched it down there. So if you're ever like, I want to have a first card at the top of all these lists, that's exactly how you would do that. So feel free. I've got step-by-steps here in this article, which I'm going to link, um, and I'll add the video in this as well. But I hope this helps, and if you have any other questions, just let me know.